usually wake up until like 4 p.m. now. Like I go to sleep at like 8 in the morning, wake up at 4, and I kind of give a cursory scroll through the chat. But if nothing jumps out, I'm missing it all. (laughs) That must be amazing. (laughs) I wake up up every day at 9 a.m., which doesn't sound very early, but I'm... I'm definitely a 4 p.m. type of person left <laughs> to my own devices. Yeah. <laughs> so 9 a.m., yeah. that might as well be fucking 6 in the morning. You know, it's so, uh, there's no difference to me. When I was working in the yeah. office, I was getting up at 6.30 every single day, I, which is unfathomable to me now. I could Jesus never Christ. do that. No I way. could barely roll out of bed Nobody at 8.30. Nobody kids like, then because I woke up at 6.45. But <laughs> that was before. Well, I actually woke up. My alarm was 6.45, but my child woke me up before that screaming, Daddy, 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 daddy. Which is super cute. And but I drink a lot. I'm hungover all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, so speaking of like, I don't know, uh, being hungover or doing drugs or anything like that, uh, yes. here's something I've been wanting to tell you guys, uh, something that's, that's happened to me recently. Uh, how do I describe this? Okay. So you guys ever like, you guys ever like get high and like really overthink things? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does, does the sun shine? Does it oh, right, right. Every day. Yeah. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I, I got high the other day and I start I I, I was I, I got a craving for for a snack and I wanted something fruity and roll up y and sold by the foot. <laughs> so I went to uh, the bodega that's like right by my house and I got me a box of fruit by the foot, right? I, I put the box on the counter. Guy doesn't say anything to me. I don't say anything to the guy. I exchange money. We nod at each other. I leave. That's like my favorite kind of transaction, especially when I'm yeah. high. You know, yeah. it went beautifully. Yeah. I got home. There are five fruit by the feet units <laughs> in the box. That's five feet of fruit by the foot, right? <laughs> I ate all five feet, Whoa. and I was still wanting more. Um, more of those foots. So I went back to the bodega, got my second box, same story, ate it, wanted more, we're up to 10 feet of fruit by the foot. <laughs> I got higher and then I wanted to get more. So I went back to the bodega, third box of fruit by the foot, we're up to 15 feet of fruit by the foot. Like I'm a fruit How by many... the foot fetishist, I discovered. <laughs> <laughs> like, How many feet of fruit do you think that you could logistically handle? Well, you know, uh, I don't know if there's an upper limit, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could handle unlimited feet. Uh, I thought that was going to be a Norm McDonald style joke. Like, I thought there was a, a punchline coming. Oh, there's no, the- there's there's more to the story. At okay, least, okay. Uh, so, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I, th- we have to answer the questions that, that the listeners are no doubt asking themselves. Uh, How many feet can Kim take? I'm the audience <laughs> insert character right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But guys, listen. Um, <laughs> I'm going back to the bodega for my fourth box of fruit by the foot, <laughs> which would have been 20 feet of fruit by the foot. This is and the same way. Then a span of two and a half hours, guys. Jesus Christ, Kim. You said <laughs> you were bad yeah. at math. You have no, a problem. No, yeah. <laughs> now, listen. I'm, I'm fucking high, and I'm overthinking everything by this point. And I know, because yeah. the third time I was in there, he gave me that look. I know the fourth time. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna say something to me, and I I don't know why, but in my my high paranoid brain, I'm thinking I don't want the bodega guy to think I'm a stoner. You know, I I don't want him to know that <laughs> I'm high. That would be awful. Uh, so I come up with the plan. I come up with the backstory, right? And I go in there. I get my fourth <laughs> box of fruit by the foot. I put it on the counter, and just as I had feared, he looks at me and he says, "Huh." Four boxes in one day, huh? So, <laughs> it's go time. There's no going back now. It's what I practiced for, firing on all cylinders. I say, <laughs> well, my son loves them. <laughs> Naturally, yeah. Got him. And then he said the worst possible thing he could say, which was, oh, I have a son too. How old's yours? <laughs> oh, no. So, I paused for like way too long. And I was like, (laughs) three? And he was like, mine's the same age. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) My son's name is Camille. What's your son's name? And then I paused for way too long again. 
Because as much overthinking as I did, I really didn't flesh this out like I should have. And I, I paused for like like 10 seconds and I was like, P <laughs> <laughs> I said Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I said fucking Jeff, right? Like I had so much time, you guys, to think of a normal white person name, like a modern white person name, like Preston, <laughs> Jackson, Jeff. Paxton, any of the Axtons, like would have worked. No, this and is I went my with three year old son named had, Jeff. No one's <laughs> named the baby Jeff. We call him Jeff already. <laughs> <laughs> we skipped the whole childhood. We just call him Jeff now. Jeff isn't even like a name. It's like a it's like a gender. It just happens to you, you know. Like, it's thrust like upon are just you. Born Jeff. Gender reveal parties. They fire the cannon, and then like the the, the confetti forms the NASCAR logo in the sky, and everyone knows coming out Jeff. It's a Jeff. You, you had to you had to switch to calling him Jeff because your your last name obviously is Epstein, and so you had to get out of the association. Jeffrey Epstein Bertrand, twenty twenty one. No, Guys, no, that's why that's why you call him Jeff. It's different. <laughs> he didn't he didn't think anything was weird about it. I guess I thought it was weirder than he did, and now every time I go in that bodega, I'm like dodging play dates. <laughs> and I'm learning kind of excuses. Jeff's had the Delta variant like six times. You gotta go I with SIDS. I don't know what I'm... I'm just gonna have to go in there and say Jeff died well, one SIDS, day. SIDS on a three-year-old? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he choked happen. on 20 feet of fruit by the foot. It was really yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing. The, the, the kid's three and I'm letting him go through 20 feet of fruit by the foot in a day. Why do I think this makes me look better? <laughs> yeah, he has toddler diabetes. Drowned in a bathtub of high fructose corn syrup. <laughs> we tried to have an a intervention with the fruit by, by the foot, but he wasn't having any of it. <laughs> also, Kim, do you think maybe the reason um, that he didn't think anything was amiss is because most people, um, when presented with the idea that this stranger has a son... Their first thought isn't going to be, she's really high and she's lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, an I don't know. I don't know that that's Jeff. the natural. That's always my first thought. Someone's like, oh, I have kids. I'm like, really? Do you? <laughs> you fucking liar. Are you lying to me right now? How At the same time, you, oh, hi, show me a picture of your kid right, right now. How do you feed that fucking bacon crouton abomination to Oh, yeah. Tuna. Geez, yeah. That's all my kids eat is tuna in a can with bacon bits <laughs> mother of the year <laughs> we go to the bar and she gets pickle juice drinks she's very weird oh yeah yeah he thought it was so weird for getting had, a pickle um, juice martini but i duck I mean, blood soup you were just talking soup. about oh yeah i went to flushing i had duck blood soup it's not an unusual thing to get right <laughs> I, li I like pickle juice in a in an alcoholic beverage i think it's very refreshing and it's got electrolytes as well did you guys <laughs> love flushing though did you guys love flushing? He hasn't been. I was oh, just talking okay. about that. Oh, okay, okay, I gotcha. But I tried to take him, but you know, like he mm -hmm. didn't. He didn't want to go eat the the innards of of, of yeah. ducks and such. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know? <laughs> Kim's place. If you haven't been here, there's a very like uh, Manson sisters vibe. I appreciate. <laughs> oh, that's taped true. crosses yeah, like, all over the place. <laughs> see, the taped crosses were actually here when I moved in because the family upstairs is Greek, I guess, and they just they like putting crosses everywhere for mm. protection protection this is a known uh, greek trait yeah so i guess it's a greek <laughs> thing i'm not sure when did you get inducted into like a, a greek family kim i feel like you work with a greek family you rent your house from a Jesus, greek family did this is there's details missing here i think it, we it need just to know kind of happened like i just got adopted by the greeks like <laughs> they invented democracy they live in astoria now i mean yeah, that's how it I mean, works that's how it works mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Well, I guess it's it's a good point to say that uh, this is another episode of The Suck. With the, the first time ever, we have a special guest. Mike Woo! Fellows is in the house. And oh, since yeah. uh, this is his first episode, we're just going to let Mike intro himself. And since we've done a video do show, that. the listeners can can just... If y'all don't know whose voice is whose by now, then you need to go back and listen to 12 other episodes. <laughs> you know, yeah, but yeah, just try harder at this point. I was telling just Tim sucks. earlier, I feel bad. Like, I know, you know, Matt and Phil, Phil pretty well. Um, 
I haven't seen the suck mostly because I don't like to hear my friends laugh at like things that I didn't say, but that's my own. Too. <laughs> <laughs> but I it's an honor Kim, to be here. Um, said, Kim forgot that we were to supposed to hang out tonight. Now I'm a special <laughs> guest. <laughs> no, no, I'm here on my own merit. <laughs> I make memes or whatever. <laughs> Mike fellows. There we go. Well, we're glad to have you. This is amazing. Yeah. I saw Mike not too long ago. He was in Denver. I don't know what time is anymore. So it was could have been yesterday for the most I can remember. But he's, he's all over yeah. the place. Yeah, that wasn't even that long ago. That was a couple of weeks ago. I was had a follower at that show like pop out of a bush and he was like sketchier than I am and he gave me like (laughs) ketamine and DMT and acid and then he started like I was doing my show and it was outside and he started like snorting ketamine off of his phone (laughs) got offended when we didn't join him (laughs) good times I I had a similar really weird experience I was I was at a party um and I it was just kind of me and my friends we were you know sitting around chilling around the mirror and uh, my, one of my friends' roommates' boyfriends came over and was like, hey, I've seen your shirts on the internet. They're good. I like them. <laughs> I was like, okay, wow. thank you so much. And he was like, I, I can't buy them because I can't, like, wear them to, like, work and stuff. But, like, they're good. They're really good. Thank you. So it's like, okay. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks for your do, service. Do, do, do you want, like, a, like, do, are you no, trying to join or is this just a really <laughs> weird <laughs> Uncomfortable compliment, uncomfortable. unsettling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I get people who it's like, sir, I'm grinding my, my teeth and sweating. I'm not. I'm not here to like. I, I can't handle compliments of this nature. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sign your shirt, though. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I will. I will sign. I'll sign anybody's shirt. It doesn't even have to be one that I made. I just think that that's me. <laughs> just like it. I'll sign. I'll sign your Hanes like plain white t-shirt i just i like attention so nice. i like yeah I, I actually saw mike and kim um at a comedy show that they did recently That's and right. uh yeah they're both fucking hilarious um but you know the, the guy from the guy that runs the uh what's it the real mcdonald's yeah page he was there yeah, yeah, yeah really nice really nice guy and he like he comes up and he's like hey you're you're a matt moyer right and i was like yeah and he's like uh you know what, man? I re- I see what you're doing, and I like it. Nice. Oh. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, thanks. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, I, so that's awesome. Thank you. Dalton is <laughs> Dalton has stayed with me. He came through. Uh, like I knew he was coming to the Denver area, but I didn't know when. And you know, like being a uh, family man, you got to kind of like prepare your family for random internet people to show up. Of course, in, yeah. In your town, uh, but I didn't d- get to do that. But Dalton came through and. Uh, you know, it was just like the day of, I was like texting with him like, hey, man, what's going on? Are you still headed this way? He's like, yeah, I'm going to be in Denver in like 30 minutes. And I was like, oh, <laughs> fuck. He's, like, he's on the <laughs> West Coast right now. I was supposed to hang out with him in Philly today. He's already like in California in his van with his oh, girlfriend. Oh, really? Wow. Like, yeah. Nice. He's a Rolling Stone. <laughs> yeah, totally. But they came through. It was like the, the smack dab in the middle of the pandemic when everything was super paranoid. And I'm like... But yeah, they came through and they stayed with us. We had a great time. There was this dude driving their van that was high on LSD, uh, purposefully <laughs> to drive the van longer because he was so tired. He took it a few hits to make sure he could yeah. stay awake. And and like he didn't introduce himself. Like that uh, the drug I, of choice for uh, road yeah. trips. Yeah, yeah. Sure. staying so, awake. Like, oh <laughs> it, it seemed to work up until he finally. Well, we were. I, I finally broke down and let him come to my house and. Uh, Cause I was just going to meet him at this bar and have beers and it was weird. And I was like, they were obviously super tired. I had nowhere to go. And I was like, they, they got to come back to my house and sleep here. And there's this other dude, the dude I tell you about, he doesn't ever tell me who he is. He doesn't introduce himself or anything until we stop at the uh, liquor store right by my house to get some beers and stuff. And I finally, I go up to him cause we're like blocks away from my house. I'm going to have this dude come over and sleep in my house. I'm like, so what's your name, man? And he's like, Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm like, Okay, like that's that's not that's not your real name. It turns out it was his real name. He was cool. <laughs> Parents, but can uh, do that. yeah, <laughs> it seems cruel. I I'm trying to imagine driving on acid because like uh, I've taken acid and gotten lost on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> I can't imagine like trying I to can't. navigate any real. Concept. I drive on acid while making memes because I'm an asshole. But <laughs> <laughs> I well, I don't have a license, so that's probably for the best. <laughs> I mean, I've heard like some people like to like take a nice bike ride or something after they start tripping. I just don't know how that's possible. 
I don't know how you can coordinate everything. The dude who like discovered it, there's like, that's the bicycle day, right? Like he was yeah, on a bike yeah, ride, he was, like, and he was like, holy shit, I made acid. Yeah. <laughs> I will call this acid. He discovered happiness, right? <laughs> Guys, I want to kind of guide the show because we have so many subjects that we want to get into. And I say I want to guide it because there's one thing I got to get off my chest. This is that last week's show, uh, I shared a tweet, a fake tweet. I was totally trolled by this account from Tetsuya Nomura, a, a video game uh, art designer person. I, You know, I'm so inundated with the fake uh, the Internet stuff. You know, it's uh, it's almost as if like when Mike was doing the fake Donald Trump stuff as if I was like, I can't believe Donald Trump said that. Like they got me. Yeah. Time. <laughs> I realized like a week later, I was looking at this account some more. I'm like, this shit is totally fake. What the fuck is wrong with me? So yeah, the <laughs> whole story that we like, did last week. Than he is, but yeah, that's, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, quit exactly. too, cause I do acid every week and I'm like, oh, am I just, you know, being this fucking zany child rapist character? <laughs> like this isn't, <laughs> this isn't a good thing <laughs> for 800,000 fucking. And I was getting like emails, like people, you know, yelling at me like I'm real Trump. And it's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's very relatable for me right now. I did. I made one where it was emails. like, um, like I'm Trump and I'm saying like, I am the emoji movie of presidents and this like Christian boomer white lady. She was like, remove this from Facebook for it is evil and wrong. <laughs> well i want to say to my co-host and the audience uh, i'm very glad y'all had no idea what the fuck i was talking about because i could have just let this go i could have acted like that was real yeah. but i'm not going to and thank y'all for not being aware of this person thank you for that yeah. <laughs> I still stand by everything I said, my entire weird drunk rant that I went on. So it changes nothing for me. <laughs> the conversation was still down. good. We don't support weebs uh, on this show, but you know, it's still worth uh, and, you know and addressing. So, Justine, can you tell me what is this uh, thirty-nine dollar spaghetti? Is this what is this? <laughs> so it was, it was a thing on Twitter. Um, it started out. Uh, some girl just made a post that was like. Um, Wow, this like buying groceries and cooking food at home thing sure doesn't seem uh, any less expensive than eating out all the time. And then went on to clarify that she thinks this because she made spaghetti at home and it costs $39. <laughs> and everyone's really confused how she got there. Like I <laughs> I did research. I tried I tried so hard to make spaghetti ingredients add up to $39 like <laughs> whole foods, organic <laughs> ingredients like just the most bougie spaghetti and i still i couldn't crack 25 dollars, and it's a <laughs> thing um and now anytime anyone like is eating spaghetti uh it's it's you're being the bourgeoisie and uh, <laughs> it's anti-praxis and it's fucked up um Maybe. you check your your pasta privilege was she was she just making a metric fuck ton of spaghetti is that what it is <laughs> did she did she clarify how much spaghetti so well, because she was complaining that like it was that much for one meal. Oh, that just so seems it's insane. Like, Does she mean, clarify at all? Like, I no, to, she just she never did. She was like, no, it cost thirty nine dollars. That's it. Go ahead, That's Kim. just no. I'm I'm sorry. I, I have to admit something to you guys. I have made well over thirty nine dollars <laughs> spaghetti before. <laughs> How many feet but... of spaghetti? <laughs> <laughs> At yeah. least 35 feet in. of spaghetti. <laughs> but no, look, I've, I've spent, here's the thing, I've spent $50 making spaghetti before, but I've I've not a single fucking serving for myself of spaghetti. I'm talking about a big fucking pot of spaghetti. Oh, and yeah. I use yeah. the yeah. San Marzano yeah, like tomatoes. Huge I use all like the ingredients, everything. Yeah. And it's like fresh, <laughs> great ingredients. And it's still like for a big family sized pot, it's $50, you know, when you're going all out. Yeah. So to spend, I don't know, what was it, $39? Was it? $39. Kim runs the uh, soup kitchen here in Astoria. She right, doesn't I like do. to talk about it. <laughs> I, I like to give back to the She's community. a saint. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be on the menu next week for the Give soup kitchen. $39 spaghetti. Hot dog base. We all know that. <laughs> I remember when you were talking about this in the group chat, Justine, I accidentally requested 
uh, $39 from each of you. <laughs> Uh, which you, you all still owe me. You have not paid yet. So I appreciate I was so confused get- by that because I hadn't seen, I had like checked the chat for a while and I, remember, I just see like, Phil has requested $39. Phil has requested $39. And I was like, holy shit, is he like, does he need money? Like, is he okay? Like, why $39 exactly? I don't. So it's it's hilarious because I think my Facebook is, it's, it's glitching. I'm getting the notifications over and over yeah. and over oh, and over. Oh, like, no. I, I get multiple $39 requests from <laughs> Phil every day. Yeah, and Phil's like, I, yeah, I'm not doing that. Oh, maybe so I'm good for it. Maybe if you paid it, it would go away. I don't know. You can try. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You guys it's, need to pay it's me. It's really okay? fucked up. I actually I made spaghetti the That's other so day. Um, and I... <laughs> I was like eating the leftovers of it uh, just the other day, and I got the pop up like while I was eating the spaghetti. Nicole <laughs> <laughs> was asking me for reparation. Well timed. The- also, <laughs> finally for my people. <laughs> I just double checked, um, and she did add one clarifying tweet, and it made it so much worse. Oh, God. Um, okay. It's it's def cheaper eating out than inside. When you're single and live alone, a lot of times you don't have all the ingredients for a meal, so you go out and buy it, and then throw away the leftovers. When instead, I can spend fifteen dollars and be straight for the day, no wasted food. Why are you throwing it away? Why would you throw it's it away? You could just that's part of the great part about. Eat, uh, making your own food is you get you put it in your fucking fridge. You're right here. That's that's mind blowing. That's bizarre. Oh, uh, does anyone else do this? Where like they make a big, they make a big pot of like stew or something or soup, and then you eat it like over the course of like a week. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's cheap. It's easy. Yeah. yeah. Or do you yeah. you just have to problem solve with yeah. the food that you have left until you get paid oh, yeah. again? So you get yeah. more. So you're just like, okay, these things go together, and you eat that yeah. like a normal person. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Like yeah. Spaghetti is a really good, you know, get to the next paycheck meal for me. You know, like noodles, can of sauce. I'm really, I'm really amused by the idea of someone who just doesn't know about the concept of leftovers. Like she makes a meal <laughs> and has extra food and she's like, oh, God damn it. Not again. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> I, can't throwing keep shit away. I had a roommate in college who would not eat leftovers, period. Why? He simply would not eat leftovers. So I don't weird. know. It was so to me. It was like that's insane. Like some stuff is actually better when you eat it later. Yeah, yeah and spaghetti being one. Spaghetti is better when you eat. Yeah, especially if you, you fry it. Had Pizza Hut the next day. Sorry, it's a little off topic, but <laughs> I, I have to say, Pizza Hut the next day is a hundred thousand times better than it Do is. Do you eat it cold? Yeah, cold. Okay. Well, yeah, definitely cold. Oil that goes into that shit, it all get, like soaks into the bread. So when yeah. you bite it the next day, it's like biting into a fresh, juicy apple, except it's a slice of pizza. You literally <laughs> left your yeah. juicy apple on the table. I, 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 I don't know what apple. You just are. need a hug. I don't, I don't mean to take us backwards. <laughs> I don't mean to take us backwards. Matt, you mentioned frying spaghetti. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, thank about? you. Thank you, Justine. Okay, this is... Uh, okay, nice. All right. <laughs> so this so this is a, a real thing. It's you basically what you do is you take over. Okay, so you know, like when you have leftover spaghetti, you put the sauce and the spaghetti, and then you put it away so it doesn't all stick together. But usually, it's like not as much sauce as you would normally put on, right? I mean, typically that's how I store it. Yeah, yeah. So if you just take that, I use a lot of sauce, so I get it. Yeah. Okay, so if you take that and then you you just take that uh, spaghetti and you pan fry it at like a medium heat, but you have to do it for a while. You keep you pan fry it and then you flip it when it's once it's nice and crispy on one side and flip it and then you put uh, Romano on it. It's fucking amazing. Okay. It's amazing. Okay. I, I grew up eating that. It's like it's like the what you do with like you can use like leftover like penne and shit too, but it's best with spaghetti because it, yeah. it makes like a almost like a funnel cake of uh, spaghetti. But yeah, yeah, try that. Life hack. Oh, that sounds like it fucking rocks. spaghetti pie. It's something I grew up eating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What did you say, Kim? Spaghetti pie? Spaghetti pie. Spaghetti so pie, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like... It's oh, yeah, like my grandma used to make grandma. spaghetti pie. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's what it is, yeah. basically. <laughs> it's good with homemade wine. That's great, yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't know if we can go any further on 39 very spaghetti. Very, very <laughs> Italian. I don't know. We could talk about spaghetti all night, guys. Honestly. Bada bing, baby. <laughs> I got a, I got a, tw- I got a tight forty-five on pasta. Let's go. <laughs> mm. Mm. Well, I got, I got to bring up something that's been bothering me a lot this week. I would, we just found out. Sp- I mean, speaking of uh, Italians, we just found out that Chris Pratt. Uh, 
<laughs> who is not Italian, is a, apparently not only going to be voicing Mario, which is, you know, we've uh-huh. we've aired our grievances about okay, this okay. on an earlier episode. Okay, but on. now Chris Pratt is taking on uh, Garfield, the voice of Garfield as well. I mean, this this this, this is, is going too far. Who, who is Italian American? Yeah, oh, a lot of people don't know that. He loves <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Chris Pratt, a notorious Monday lover. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad you know, he's working. Matt, and you're he totally right. Bill. Garfield, Garfield is Italian American. He's like yeah. kind of fat in the gut. Loves exactly. He's like kind of orange. He loves dumb. pasta. Yeah. He he treats the people that he lives with kind of shitty um, <laughs> in an endearing way. Notorious he's Italian incredibly great. Italian. Just- yeah. yeah. <laughs> I told you, Italian American icon. But a lot of people don't think about it, but he is. He is. It really is. Wow. You're so no right, idea. King. Are you notoriously anti Odie? <laughs> <laughs> and Odie is Sicilian, so it checks out. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much Garfield lore I wasn't aware of, guys. Mm-hmm. Yep. You heard it here. Well, I'm glad you guys have so much love for Garfield, but I really need us to hate on Chris Pratt more. I feel like that's that's the part of well, the suck. Well, wasn't we there that wasn't that there that weird wife guy tweet he did? We can talk oh, about yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, that, oh, that, oh, that yeah. was an Instagram post, yes. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that yeah. was a weird fucking post. Yeah, Jamie, we try to find Jamie it? pull up the. Jamie? I got it. <laughs> Jamie, do the um, thing okay. I'm going to do anyway, and <laughs> then I'm going to step on your toes about it. <laughs> no go ahead um, Let's, I want Justine to read it this would be great okay so uh, he posted a little a little picture uh, where he's not looking at his wife at all he's deadlock eyed to the camera and his wife is staring adm- admiringly at him yeah. um, and he said <laughs> she is admiring him yeah um, he said guys for real look how she's looking at me I mean find you somebody that looks at you like that you know <laughs> We met in, this is what I imagine Chris Pratt's voice sounds like all the time. I don't know. <laughs> we met in church. She's given me an amazing life, a gorgeous, healthy daughter. I'm just she imagining Mario so loudly. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> she chews so daughter. loudly that sometimes I put in my earbuds to drown it out, but that's love. She helps me with everything. In return, periodically, I open a jar of pickles. That's the trade. Her heart oh is pure, God. and it belongs to me. My greatest treasure right next to my Ken Griffey Jr. Upper Deck Rookie card, wow. which, if you know, you know, is saying a lot. <laughs> it's her birthday in about six weeks, so if I don't get her anything, I'll tell her to look on ba- look back on this post. Love you, honey. Oh That's the God. weirdest fucking God, post. I can't wait till they get divorced. I want to die yeah. alone now. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, I, it's incredible to me because you know, like he was like sitting there draft. He like picked out this pick and was like, "This is this is the one." And then he started drafting this out, and he's like, "He's like, oh, no, I need another banger, banger, banger." <laughs> so it's just I worse and worse. Fucking <laughs> Yeah. This this post made me want to break up with Chris just to avoid the possibility that he could maybe post something like this one. Mm. <laughs> it can't it could happen to anyone, really. So. Yeah. I, I feel like Chris is on that trajectory of super fame where you definitely become a certain type of crazy, which is like Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks, uh, a lot of other Toms in Hollywood. It's, it's now, Kanye. Tom, every I mean, Tom, really. Tom is not Tom like crazy, Hanks, but in his old age. Of Chrome Kimberly. Oh, yeah, oh, oh I, I forgot. You think that's normal behavior? Drinking I mean, the blood of a frightened child? I mean, child? he had a son I named Chester that, that coined the term white boy summer. So we can't, you know, Tom Hanks is not off the hook here. For sure. I totally there's forgot no about reason. being Chester. There's, so, there's Chester. no reason to name your child Chester. It's mm-hmm. simply there's no reason for it. I might name my son Chester now. They need to make one of those laws, like how you're not allowed to name a kid Adolf. Like They need to do that okay, but for yeah, Chester. Yeah. Is that a law? <laughs> that, that's a law. You, you're not legally allowed to like name your kid like Hitler. <laughs> Shut <or> up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Adolf is like a, a name, bit. though. It's like a that's like a I think name. We just what if I spell it really name. stupid? Like, what <laughs> if- <laughs> Do it with A E A E T L three R. Go as white as possible with it. It's Aiden Dolph, actually. Putting the white in white supremacy. Okay, so I'm sorry. It it in some states is illegal to name your your kid. Adolf Hitler. In some oh, states. Okay. So yeah, Adolf, Adolf, Hitler. Adolf Hitler. Yeah. It, yeah, it can't, it can't just be Adolf. It has to be Adolf Hitler. 
Okay. I thought it would just be like Germany. Like I thought the no, you know, yeah, here, like, whatever. If you want to name your kid Adolf Hitler, whatever. Well, how are you going to name your kid Adolf Hitler anyway? Because whose last name is Hitler anymore? You know? <laughs> no, no, no. Like middle, <laughs> middle name, name you Hitler. You can't be like Adolf Hitler <laughs> Jones. Guy. No, you, you want to know? <laughs> you want to hear something cool about uh, Adolf Hitler's family? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they Probably. chose to voluntarily just end their bloodline. Oh, they yeah. all, they all, because there, there wasn't that many of them, and they were just like, you know what? We produce yeah. our blood to produce the worst guy, so let's just <laughs> let's you know just not. I didn't think like the cool team. facts about Adolf Hitler would be a thing, but it's that was cool fact, that yeah. was yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good yeah. Adolf yeah. Hitler yeah. fact there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I also see it as as kind of a mercy thing because imagine having to be like adolf hitler's great great granddaughter or something mm. and you're just trying to like get a job at starbucks and they're like yeah well you know <laughs> sarah hitler's a hard sell <laughs> <laughs> my grandpa was a really good leader um <laughs> <laughs> using him as like a character reference <laughs> i'm better than him at least right <laughs> Efficiency runs in my blood, actually. <laughs> Trains will run on time, or else. He was a painter. Um. <laughs> uh, this this took a good turn. I like this this art. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just trying to think of any, anything I can guy. pivot from. Uh, you know what? Let's pivot. <laughs> this will be this will be as equally terrible. Um, let's talk about Pete Davidson and the discourse surrounding. Pete oh, Davidson so right now. I think we mm-hmm. got to go there. Uh, if any, if I feel like Justine maybe could lead this one because she was uh, deeply embroiled in the Pete Davidson mm-hmm. discourse battle on Twitter. I do have to just clarify. It's not just like down to Pete Davidson. I'm deeply embroiled in all the Twitter discourse. <laughs> I don't have a job. So like, <laughs> this is your job, uh, Justine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it, it basically started Pete Davidson uh, was like spotted with, with Kim Kardashian. I think they were holding hands on a roller coaster. And then afterwards she like gave a weird quote to an interview that was like, I'm intrigued by Pete Davidson. (laughs) And so it's, it's all a very, like it's very PR move ish, but whatever. Um, and, and people, and by, and by people, I mean like, just weird men are like really mm. mad about Pete Davidson, uh, like fucking hot women. And <laughs> Why would you be mad about that? Coming. It makes perfect sense. Like, I don't think he's hot, but I get it. I 100% get it. These are clearly not yeah, Sigma yeah. males. I mean, yeah. <laughs> am I right? But like, that's, like yeah. if they actually thought he was ugly, wouldn't it give them hope? Like, wouldn't they be like, yeah. oh, that's because that. it's not, that's exactly. not how it works that's in the mind though. I thought, exactly. I not Sigma representation males, matters. No. Right, yeah, exactly. Plus, like, he's not ugly. He's a very symmetrical... Yeah. He's a very symmetrical, sexy doodle pad who does drugs. Funny, rich, skinny, dirtbag types. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, see, that was was exactly what I said, was, like, stop acting surprised. Like, he's tall and thin and covered in tattoos. It's been said that he has a big dick and he's in comedy and he's rich. Yeah, what do you want? why, Why is the guy who, like, embodies most, like, common traits that women are attracted to getting uh, women also if you're no, like no. if you're pete davidson right and you're just some fucking schmuck from from staten island he, dude you and you have the chance to fuck kim kardashian just to be like whatever i fucking fuck kim kardashian one time like do, do it dude like please good god do one for the fucking uh yeah pieces of shit from this part of the world <laughs> do it good job bro thank you i feel yeah. like i could guess like draw all over pete davidson with a sharpie and it would just like look normal and mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know i think yeah. that's part of his appeal as well one for me French personally yeah. <laughs> literally draw he, him he like is, one of the french girls he is apparently getting uh rid of all of his tattoos for some reason what um, he's, he's like lasering him off really yeah because he, he to to I, if i remember for right acting? it was something yeah it, yeah for yeah, acting because yeah. he didn't like expect to be getting like roles like he is and he's like yeah the cover-up process takes hours and blah 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 so like he's losing that damn damn that's like one of his main selling points i think for like type of guy that he is you know but okay i mean whatever yeah he's compensating with getting more roles which makes him richer so that makes sense it's kind of like yeah 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 he could could eventually get better tattoos maybe (laughs) so that's true yeah i think a lot of it is it's come down to like um, I, I, I've been 
just calling it uh, male versus female gaze with with Pete Davidson. Like, I think it's very upsetting to guys because like when guys think of like the the premier like hot guy like heartthrob celebrity they they and I mean like straight men they seem to like fall back on shit like Brad Pitt and and like Tom Cruise guys yeah guys who like women who are attracted to men haven't thought about in 20 fucking years and just like are not the <laughs> archetype anymore what do you mean and, he Pete Davidson Pete Davidson looks way less hot than Burt Reynolds. What the fuck, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I think for me, it's like, I think no, the way it works in, in like these guys' brains is that it's like, it, cause in it to them, Brad Pitt is like unattainable hotness for them. And if, a, and a woman lusting for like a Brad Pitt type person, it's like, oh, well, yeah, of course she wants to fuck him. Like, I could never be that guy. But Pete Davidson is a guy that like has qualities that kind of suck. Like, I mean, you know, like that you would think that they would suck, but they work for him. And it, and th- instead they have to be confronted with like, oh shit, I suck more. I could be getting pussy, but I'm not because I'm just <laughs> yeah. a loser. Personality. Yeah. Yeah. It's my it, personality. It, it, it <laughs> makes them realize like that a, like women, yeah. women aren't just like into like, yeah, like you said, unattainable Greek gods. Yeah, right. They're just yeah, not yeah. into you specifically. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> I look like, like God um, forbid you change yourself for the better, though. That would be no. Hmm? Oh fuck that! No, I feel like uh, Matt Moyer's older brother who like eats fish heads in the basement and writes a shit post for him. <laughs> 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 oh, we're swooning over Pete Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> Pete Davidson writes my material. Nice. No, I, I I know his writer, and it's this uh this Dave Cyrus dude is actually you know he's got glasses. He's a little nerdier looking, but he's he's no Pete Davidson. But yeah, he, <laughs> he writes a lot of what he says and stuff. But I I think that just more makes Pete more endearing. <laughs> he's dreamy. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, weird people in the basement, uh, that I think this was uh, Matt Sweet that watch uh, hentai on their. Nintendo DS. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, apparently, uh, Mike, were you taken uh, down off of Facebook for a tweet Uh-oh. about Kyle Rittenhouse? Is that how that yeah, went? Yeah, that was just stupid. You know, uh, Kyle, uh, Eminem writing uh, Kyle Rittenhouse back like he's Stan or whatever. That's I didn't, right. You know, that's right. I didn't assert anything there. I just said his name. But yeah, yeah, I'm banned on Facebook for 30 days. Did you appeal it? Uh, yeah, you. I, I posted the appeal, but I like... I, I spoke my piece about how they spread misinformation and enable hate groups, but then I ended it with something about wanting to see, you know, Zuckerberg die on a cold prison cell floor. So I don't <laughs> know. You had a very thoughtful when the appeal know, there, yeah, appeal, and then it ended with "I hope Zuckerberg <laughs> dies." Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, you know. Please no well, honesty, right? <laughs> Mike, when we all go upload our consciousness into the metaverse, I'll miss you because I know oh. Zuckerberg will never <laughs> allow you to well, to join us. I don't there, know if I can, yeah, post I'm also in the clink too. I, I'm banned on Facebook, so oh, wow. solidarity, brother. I'm How always banned. You know what's yeah. interesting, guys, is I just got an infraction and I didn't get banned. For the oh, first wow. time in forever. Well, that's what they said to me, and then I, and then the next thing was I got banned for seven days. They were like, "Oh, don't do it this time," and I was like, "Nice, I got an infraction." And then I tried posting, and it was like, "You're you can't post for seven days." Dude. What was no. your ban for, Matt? My ban was I said, uh, uh, "White white girl pussy smells like a scantron." <laughs> <laughs> Which it does. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> he was, was he was right to was say it, it, and he was brave to say it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. It's just one of those things, you know. It's a- <laughs> like after he posted, I was like, "Oh my god, does my pussy smell like a scantron?" <laughs> Did you like go to the bathroom? And like, I was just, oh my oh god. god, I need to know that about myself. Like, well, now I know. All right. <laughs> Kim gets I'm banned to... because then she's like a Kimberly Bimberly. That's her fucking stupid. Oh, my God. Like, you know, I forgot to log in for Kimberly. I literally I just thought that, that was some anymore. Paula Poundstone type <laughs> comedian. Like, I didn't know that was you for like six months. <laughs> you didn't know Kimberly Bimberly was my alt account? Right. No, I really <laughs> masturbate to it. Oh, my God. Guys, I feel so weird because I think I might have dyslexia. I thought Matt's post said that white girl pussy smell like Scranton. Like town. <laughs> oh my god! Is that what so much was that? Dunder Mifflin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my Dunder Mifflin yeah. pullover brings all the pussy to the yard. <laughs> I totally did oh, not perceive no, Skitron. 
Kim just told the uh, server at our restaurant that we were all zucchinied out. I wanted to fucking <laughs> California serve <laughs> stomp her after she said t- <laughs> that. out of yeah. her misery. He said, do you want the zucchini wrapped up? And I'm like, no, thanks. We're zucchinied out. Oh my and God. I hated yeah. myself yeah. so much in that. I place. wanted to drown you in your bathtub when you said that. I would have left you. <laughs> just I put her down, not. man. Kim is dead. You, I so did you go to the bathroom? And- no. <laughs> After the meal, did you come out of the bathroom, Kim, and say, "Are you guys ready to rock and roll?" <laughs> I did. She I was said, uh, the old dusty trail. <laughs> I gotta make a meme first with Calvin peeing on things I don't like. <laughs> uh, guys, can I tell this story about uh, and Calvin's peeing Baltimore? on the zucchini? Yeah. Sorry <laughs> about my trip to Baltimore, real quick. Um, okay, wait, hold on. So. You're gonna tell us about this trip to Baltimore, which is uh, a cool event, right? Okay, so here's the okay. What is Am I allowed to say this? Am I saying the wrong thing? What? Okay, Give so it listen. To us. Here's how Give we're gonna to do us, this. Kim. All right, all right. Because look, I went to I went to a YouTuber's party. Off you can't home. say who though. Well, here's the thing, guys. I have some famous friends and stuff, and I know that they Ooh, don't whoa. like it when people just like name drop them or like <laughs> whatever. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch Louis C.K. jerk off? Come on. <laughs> okay, you got me. All right, anyway. you got me. I didn't even try to get out of the door. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look, we're gonna, we're gonna. T- I'm gonna tell this story. I'm gonna do the whole thing without uh, saying her name. But it rhymes with Bantra Boints, right? <laughs> God forbid she listened to this. Yeah, you know she's uh, listening. She's got yeah, four minutes big deep into mind. it. So, yeah, Bantra Boints, like, come on the pod. If she Bantra makes it 40 Boints. minutes deep, yeah. you're definitely okay. <laughs> no, um, no, I mean, honestly, she's kind of irrelevant to the story. It's a brief story because um, for privacy reasons, I, I can't say too much, but I'll just say what my costume was. Which went over um, not as well as I would have hoped, but I, I. So I don't know. From this Dave Chappelle special, you know how he said the Team Turf line or whatever. So I had a custom shirt printed that says Team Turf on it, right? Mm. And the back says "Womanhood is not a costume, comma sweaty." And <laughs> in order to get that printed, I actually had to call a guy because I was like three <laughs> days out from going to this thing. And I was like, what is my costume going to be? And I came up with the idea um, to like be a turf or whatever. I got other accoutrements as well. But but to get the shirt printed, I had to call a guy. I'm like, can you have this shirt for me by Friday? And he's like, yes, we are the fastest shirt printers in New York. And I'm sure everyone <laughs> says that. All the shirt guys say it. Yeah. I'm sure. The shirt guys like New York. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh so he was like what's it got to say on it and i'm like the front has to say in giant letters team turf yeah. and he's like okay because I'm, I'm sure he has no idea what the fuck hey, that hey. means you know yeah. uh, and i'm like on the back it has to say womanhood is not a costume comma sweaty hey, hey. and he's like sweaty and i'm like sweaty and he's like sweetie and i'm like no sweaty, sweaty. Uh, <laughs> who's on first like, he, he, he got the shirt to me in time and everything so yeah so i don't know um you know we, we i show up i meet some people i, I have a good time I, you know uh, i think everyone mostly got the joke you know if I, I had one person say to me assuming that shirt is ironic it's funny and I say, it's like, no, I like to put my sincere beliefs on a shirt and go to a costume party. <laughs> this is what I believe. I was, it's kind of like going to a quinceanera with a shirt that says build the wall right. on it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you are actually a female body inspector. This is fucking hilarious. Like <laughs> <laughs> meta, bro. Oh, so, I don't I'm know. I'm going we to the Apple time. store in my, in my shirt that says uh, the Industrial Revolution and its consequences have been a disaster for you. <laughs> 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 no, it was a good time and, um, you know, the the funny part of the story, I think, is 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 actually what happened after the the party, right? And the whole point of me even bringing this up or, or any of this stuff is just to complain about some food stuff some more to you guys. The funny part, <laughs> not the hate crime. common theme <laughs> yeah. with a hot dog. So it's the not the hate crime. Uh, so me and uh, uh, me and uh, my roommate Margot Reese, um, she's another comic. We're we're walking back to like get to our bus. 
And we get to the bus station or the bus stop because it's in the middle of fucking nowhere. And um, we wait until 5 a.m. It's 5 in the fucking morning. And there's no bus. And we wait and we wait and we wait. Finally, we call the bus company and they say that the bus is going to be two hours late. So we're in like the middle of fucking nowhere in Baltimore. I have no idea how, how anything works in Baltimore. No idea. It doesn't. It doesn't, right? <laughs> Baltimore doesn't work. So we, we start walking, you know, because we're getting hungry and stuff. And we start seeing these billboards that say, best chicken in Baltimore. Oof. One mile away. We got another 500 feet. You're almost there. Best <laughs> chicken in the world. Suck my dick. We walk <laughs> another, like, 500 feet. You're almost literally right here. I'm going to come. This chicken is so good. <laughs> And we get to the fucking place. It's a gas station, right? <laughs> Which, okay, I'm from Houston, right? We have great food in gas stations. Gas stations and food, they just go together in my mind. Yeah. So I'm thinking, this will be fine. It's, it's a gas station. Um, we got that chicken, right? And let me tell you about that chicken. That chicken comes with the roll, right? And the roll that they have on the picture looks like how you'd imagine... A roll would look. I got the roll and the chicken. The roll is a hot dog bun. Not, oh. I'm not even kidding. It's a. So it's, it's like they, they took a hot dog bun apart <laughs> and they just. Um, I bumped my mic. I'm very enthusiastic about this. They and they just cut a little sliver off of the hot dog bun and threw that in there. That's nice. my roll. The chicken, I can't even say it was the worst chicken I've ever eaten because I don't know if it was fucking chicken. I have no idea what the fuck I ate, to be <laughs> honest with you. It's like fried grease. It's like, and usually, you know, like, it's like, it's like if there was like a, like a Ray Bradbury, like Twilight Zone, like a, like a, a glutton, his ironic punishment is he gets to spend <laughs> eternity in this giant buffet and everything looks delicious. And then he eats the food and it turns to ash in his mouth. <laughs> that's, that's how I found it. You know, that's that. It's like it's it's it was that bad. Um. So, so yeah. Um. Uh. uh if you see any billboards in Baltimore that say "World's <laughs> Greatest Fucking Chicken" on it, come. you know, um, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> uh, uh, please, please, just get the fuck now, out of Baltimore. What if? What if I see the billboard that says, "Oh my God, I'm gonna come"? I, you're almost literally right there. Fuck Should I dick. keep <laughs> going or? Yeah, I, I would say I would say, turn a different back billboard? Around. I'd say turn back around and run. That's a as threat fast in as Baltimore when someone says they're gonna make it. Come. <laughs> I'll make it come, goddamn it! Give me that come, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> The timing is uncanny because it seems like in November you'd want to see a billboard that says the chicken is 30 miles away, right? You got to keep. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, that was a lazy joke. These billboards are back to back to back. Yeah, yeah. Right. There are many days, 30 days in November, right? I mean. Yeah. So what I'm hearing is the gas station food in Baltimore not good. No good. Who would have no thought? Yet. Who would have thunk? Okay. Yeah, I know. You got this bit about <laughs> fucking a dude for a McDouble, but a fucking hot dog roll is too good for you. Honestly, <laughs> uh, McDouble is delicious. A McDouble is incredible. If I could just pretend the I honor of stopped by uh, McDonald's. McDonald's. <laughs> I'm insane. I, I will support that. I will support the McDoubles are super fire for sure. They are. Yeah. Yeah. They're my go-to. Yeah. Well, something, uh, just speaking of terrible food uh, and other uh, things that you put in your body that you shouldn't, I, I feel like uh, Ashley had brought something to our attention that was probably either traumatic or just shocking to learn about, but it was someone you went on a date with hipped you to urine therapy. Mm -hmm. Is that right, Ashley? Yeah. Well, okay. It, we, we've talked about piss guys before, and, and I yes. feel like that's fairly normal in comparison to this. I was at a bar with this gentleman that I met at a Halloween party, um, tripping sack on mushrooms and uh, on piles of cocaine. And he, he came up to me and, and um, uh, we were hanging out and I went on a second date with him and we were at the bar and he whipped out his phone and he's just like, hey, have you ever heard of piss therapy? Look at this right now publicly <laughs> in the bar. Look at it. This girl um, puts piss in her dreadlocks. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, um, dreadlocks. yeah and apparently it's it's a thing and um, uh, it's it's a, a, a really cool, healthy thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was surprised that you had not heard of it before because it's a it's a great it's like an endless source of cringe. It's a really popular like old 
um, like pseudoscience to like drink piss, to wash your eyes out with piss, to put she, piss in your ears. She put enemas her own piss. She puts her yeah. her her pee up her butthole. And where <laughs> that piss can go, it does it with these people. Uh huh. Why? And, um, Why? <laughs> he looked at me at one point in the bar, and he was just like, "Man, can you imagine what she smells like?" And I was like, "Probably piss." Piss. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm going to invent the uh, piss bidet for the homeopathic uh, yeah. medicine folks out the there. The reverse bidet. This is huge. Yeah, it just pulls the water yeah. from the bowl, so you piss after you're done. You squirt your asshole. <laughs> everything's. It's going to so be. You can retain the piss. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Low water usage because you don't want to dilute the piss. You only have a tiny bit of water in there, you know. But I'm just trying to understand, like, mostly piss. What are the home? Matt, you seem to know about terrible things. (laughs) Big piss guy. (laughs) (laughs) Can you explain about piss therapy? (laughs) History. It's it's kind of like they just believe that like you can use it to uh, treat anything. Uh, It makes your hair healthy. It uh, improves your eyesight. If you have an eye infection, you're, you could wash it out with piss. Oh, that's true. Um, she does. She she sells yeah. like eyedroppers that yeah, she makes. Piss. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's one of those things where it's like it's just they believe it's like crystals where you just like oh you have cancer like put some piss on it you know it's I, like I, I feel like this is apples and oranges crystals and and your own piss are a bit separate. <laughs> you, you wait wait. Think. But there's no. crisp pistol. Uh- <laughs> 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 you can make Chris Pistols, 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 yeah. Pistols. I have to meet Chris Pistol. Yes, Chris Pistols, the famous Chris comedian. Chris will one day voice the character Chris Pistols. Chris Pistols. <laughs> this is Billy Pistols. Billy Pistols. But wait, Billy do you guys know about the Piss Crystals for real, though? Like, I do. Tell us no, more, I, I don't. I don't. Please, in no, we need to. Yeah. So if you let, if you let Piss sit... <laughs> Uh, it, it will harden and it will, it will make like a, it'll have like a chemical reaction in the air and it'll, it'll become solid and it'll basically make piss crystals. And they'll use that to, you know, shove up their ass or rub on their scabs or whatever it is. You know, they, that's what they do. It's just a different right. form of piss, you know? They love that, it, man. They uh, love that shit. What's, what's the over under you think um, on, on the idea that someone out there is snorting their piss crystals? Mm-hmm. Uh, they're absolutely 100%. 100% is. Yeah. Yeah. They're <sighs> wow. chopping them up real fine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're they're this talking about terrible. the quality. They're saying they're wishing they're wishing for the the old uh piss of your crystals or that were really <laughs> that they're really good shit that you used to be able to get. Imagine sitting around um and you're like doing coke at a party and someone busts out the piss crystals and just mm-hmm. fucking rips it that line. I'm <laughs> concerned that I've like, accidentally just... snorted piss crystals at this yeah. point. Oh, I think you probably have. I, I mean, think you probably have, yeah. All right. Yeah, anybody that snorted anything in a bathroom has definitely got some piss crystals. Yeah, you got some there. piss in there for sure. I feel That's so the thing that we need to acknowledge. Are the fentanyl. <laughs> and, and by that I mean cops are, are coming within 10 feet of piss crystals and dying <laughs> yeah. it happens I dated an astrology girl last year that got into like QAnon but she's following I won't say the name of the page on Instagram but it's like this psychedelic dude who's like leaning right and he's posting this shit kind of as a joke about drinking your own pee and getting superpowers but she's like taking it earnestly it's you could tell it's a slippery mm. slope. She's going to be drinking pee pretty soon. So <laughs> it's like, I, I tried it's like to wake piss her up. still November instead of no, not November. Just a, I could still fix her, but <laughs> a slope slippery with piss. That's it's a very real thing. Well, let's see. Uh, actually, how did the date go with the uh, the piss guy? Oh, I like him. He's he's, he's actually pretty cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, then that bodes yeah. well for for Mike. He probably can fix her. I think. <laughs> well, from my from my understanding, Ashley, the guy you went on a date with was he he's he wasn't into piss. He was he's just like, yeah. no, no, he <laughs> just he's he's a, he's a guy he's who's just well, thank you for cleaning by her, right? It wasn't right. Likes bad things. So, similar right. to yeah. Matt, where he just loves <laughs> horrifying heinous shit, I and do, yeah. like, yeah. yeah, that's it's okay. It's it's tr- it's charming. I guess. Yeah. Every la- ladies Wait, is love he it. Similar yeah. to Matt, or is he a piss guy? I'm confused. <laughs> I, that's, a, that's the oldest trick in the book for me. I, I whip out the piss crystals pretty much every day. <laughs> Works like a charm. Look, we're all on a podcast basically about piss. We cannot judge anyone for yeah. being a piss guy no. at this point. I mean, yeah. we could rename the, the podcast The Piss, I think. Yeah. Foot guys? <laughs> ugh. Piss guys? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Shout out to Galvano for making a meme this week that was predicting this week's episode. He had yeah. like the oh, yeah. the That's guy true. all bent over going, <laughs> the, <laughs> the audio editor hearing the 800th piss joke. <laughs> yeah. That was Sorry, prophetic. Guys. Amazing. I can't help it. I can't help it. It's so easy. I mean, piss jokes. They're the new cum joke. I mean, you know. It's Look easy pisses, you know? old hat. Piss is coming back. God damn it, Matt. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of pee you, and... Uh, uh, cares about cum. <laughs> <laughs> Let's switch over to cum now, yeah. Get down. <laughs> I was going to keep it in the genitalia uh, right. universe, if you will, because uh, mm-hmm. somebody has in I'm here... So pre-COVID. <laughs> <laughs> the golden penis syndrome. Is anybody familiar oh, with this? Okay, yes. I put this on there. Okay, do you guys Do you guys know about this? I've had a lot no, no. of uh, bronze and nickel penises, but I've never had a gold <laughs> one. So maybe you could explain. Great, girl. Yeah, I've been called a, a, a dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the so the uh, the golden penis syndrome, as uh, as reported by the New York Post, so you know it's good. Uh, oh, yeah. Is, oh, yeah. yeah, New York Post is classic. Uh, journalism. Classic garbage <laughs> journalism. Uh, okay, so the penis, uh, the golden penis syndrome is. Because uh, there's so many fewer men going to college now, their pe- the dicks are harder to come by. You like that? Uh, that the uh, that they, they actually think that they. I know. I'm sorry. That was good. That was good. Uh, yeah, thank you. Um, that they they no, actually I think know. that they're worth. They are worth more. So they're do- they're basically being even worse college guys because they just can because men are so hard to to, to get or there's so few of them that their stock has risen. So they have golden <laughs> penis syndrome because there's less oh, penises, God. so their penises have turned to gold. And uh, Is this yeah, the story of Rogan moving to Austin. Or <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I take issue with the entire concept that that less men going to college means there's less like viable men. I'll fuck a guy Agreeable. without a degree. That's no, no, no. Fine. Sorry, sorry. This is specifically <laughs> on college campuses. These are college oh, guys in college, like. God. So this is like an ecosystem of people. (laughs) I don't understand. Well, I was going to say, I feel like this ecosystem means these people are stuck on campus. Like they have no cars or something like what? I don't, I I don't, I, I, yeah, I got nothing for you other than I thought it was fucking hilarious because I love the, I like the term golden penis syndrome because I have. Yeah, that does, that does rock. These people never watch Austin Powers. I mean, they got to think this through before they write these heads. I want to have this syndrome. I, I just you. like to. I just like to point out that my screen happened to freeze at the very moment that Matt made his like yeah. cum pun, and he had this <laughs> marvelous fucking look on his face. Like he's having you a please stroke, but he's like real smug smoke. about it. You know, like, ah. this is how you have a stroke. You <laughs> it fucking just, it literally just froze again on, on another smug Matt face. I also assume <laughs> Matt's penis was a gold bar this whole time, so it's <laughs> kind of a relief. To I get, get that a lot. A lot of disappointment. I, I think the easiest it. way to finish off golden penis syndrome is just to re-release uh, Austin Powers Gold Member in theaters again. No one will talk about <laughs> golden penis. I've been having for a, a long foreskin time. wars with Everett all week. On <laughs> 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 Come on, tell us, tell us more. We got to know more about what foreskin uh, wars is. Oh, God. nah, I love Everett. You know, <laughs> he, he he had a son nah. circumcised. And the doctor had a fucking Ghostbuster costume on, which is great, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, you know, I'm Team Foreskin, but these dudes were coming at Everett like, you know, I hope your son grows to resent you. And, of course, Everett's going to be like, hey, fuck yeah. you. You have a fuck really you. weird dick. Like, <laughs> and I was like, hey, buddy, can I not have one of those? <laughs> like, yeah, we're, we're still good. It's going to take more than a little bit of foreskin to come between Everett and I. <laughs> <laughs> It's a, it's a little foreskin between bros. Right. <laughs> Look, it's a, it's actually really works out for one foreskin and one circumcised because it's the best docking scenario. Yeah, honestly, that's, that's, that's the ideal docking. That's how we uh, spend so. our ketamine trips together ever at night. <laughs> <laughs> he completes oh, me, wow. <laughs> Elliot. Have you guys heard oh. about that device that's supposed to get your foreskin back or whatever? Yeah, it it's stretches out. It's called, the, it's called yeah. the tugger. Yeah, which I think is good name. Hilarious. Yeah, it sounds like a you know. I think you should leave sketch. I think it I've seen guys hang cinder blocks from it and stuff. It's oh my god, oh. god bless them. Yeah. Oh, jelking? Are you, you talking? Yeah, you guys ever seen jelking? 
You guys ever seen it? Yeah. You can see he it on YouTube. He's so excited. Oh, my God. He's way too excited. Yeah. What is, what is, please explain <laughs> jelking to me. Because I got, 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 I got got with it. So someone was like, hey, can you look, look up jelking on YouTube? So I'm like, oh, sure. I mean, it's on YouTube. It can't be like, it's on fucking YouTube. It can't be that bad. And then I just like, you yeah. can just watch a dude pull and contort his cock in all oh. kinds of fucked up ways. Uh, just on YouTube. Because yeah. it's like yeah. scientific or something. <laughs> and you yeah. can just see it. Yeah, nice. and he's like stretching it and pulling it, and it's supposed to make your dick it's, bigger. All right, we're, we're, yeah, we're, we're Micah looking so at you're, Yeah, I have to look at this. Yeah, you're you're Launch stretching your it, and-, um, and what you're trying to do is uh, cause little like rips in your dick skin to heal and make it bigger over time. I had neither foreskin wars or joking on the show notes for tonight. Joking, guys. Here we go. For men. <laughs> it has to be that one, right? Did they remove it? It's J E L Q I N G. Yeah, I'm, I'm mm-hmm. seeing that. But doesn't more scar tissue okay, reduce okay, sensitivity? Right. Isn't that? Yeah. I don't think that they care yeah, about but that. It's bigger. It's just bigger, and that's all they <laughs> care about. Oh, I mean, okay. that yeah. ship has sailed when you have a big chunk of your dick cut off. It's all scar tissue at that point. So, right? Also, I think little micro tears yeah, probably just, wouldn't cause scar tissue very much. Okay. All right. Not yeah, beyond not our, the yeah, big just have a small cock. I don't get it. Just fucking leave it. I don't know. <laughs> Jesus, man. If you want your fourth it's not worth it. I don't have your dad spend the circumcision money on heroin when you're a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just learned that I didn't know that if you get your child circumcised, it's considered cosmetic and you have to pay for it out of pocket. Your insurance won't pay for that. Yeah. Because I, I mean, I'm it's... having we're having a baby in January and I'm trying to I, this is a big debate for me. You gotta you know? decide now. Uh, yeah, I'll take care yeah, of everything. Uh, too. Don't <laughs> post about it because the the anti circumcision people are fucking insane. Yeah, trust me, yeah. I just didn't say yeah. anything at this point because I'm like, I'm not gonna make yeah, this not part of the it. podcast. Yeah, I yeah. love my foreskin. I kiss it a hello every morning, but I can't stand the fucking anti circumcision people. They're horrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that sums up a lot of segments of the internet right there. To be honest with you, I mean, yeah, that was beautiful. <laughs> Uh, well, while everybody is staring um, kind of aghast at, at I'm assuming, joking <laughs> videos, uh, we've just, we have just we just passed an hour for the suck. So I think at this point, uh, it's it, there's no other way to... This episode has reached the maximum velocity. <laughs> yeah. There's no other way to take it. I just yeah. want to sign off. We got off pissed, We got saying, joking. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> thank you, Mike Fellows, for being here oh, with us genius. on the show tonight. Thank you for having me. I am honored. Thank Absolutely. you so much, Mike. It was our yeah, honor and you. pleasure. We're going to have you back. Golden penis syndrome right now. No, I, <laughs> I just sorry, wouldn't Sorry again, right. I slept through your announcement. <laughs> we didn't do the intros in this show. I mean, I know you skipped over them, but I just, I've come to love the intros so much. You Should know we do I mean? it at the end? Is that yeah, let's do it at the end here. Can we do end no, let's do intros, intros at an hour and two intro. into the show. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Uh, what order? Uh, alphabetical order or something? How do you want to do it tonight? I think everyone says their name at once. I think at that the same time. Okay. okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, okay. two, one. Oh, Ashley and Christine. Yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah. That worked. That I good. think that worked. I think that was good. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of The Suck. Check us out on all the places you get your podcasts and look for a bonus episode patreon.com slash the suck j pupa play us out man google jumping right as you think this way